Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. Today we will discuss blocking and confounding in 2 to the power k factorial design. You know the concept of blocking and we will introduce the concept of confounding and you also know what is 2 to the power k factorial design. So, within 2 to the power k factorial design how blocking is done and when confounding arises and how to deal with such situations those things will be discussed in one hour lecture hub. So, contents today's presentation blocking into the power k factorial experiment we will discuss this with an example then confounding into the power k factorial design then confounding a the 2 to the power k factorial design in two blocks then how to construct uh, blocks using defining contrast then how to construct blocks using principal block concepts another example blocking and comp confounding in unreplicated design confounding the 2 to the power k factorial design in 4 blocks then confounding the 2 to the power k factorial design in 2 to the power p blocks then partial confounding and example with partial com confounding uh, using 2 to the power 3 design. Uh, this entire <coughs> all the topics to be covered by 2 lectures half an hour to 30 minutes duration and the source of this lecture is the book written by Montgomery design analysis of experiments. So, if you go through the um, chapter uh, in blocking into the power factorial k factorial design uh, it is in chapter 7 in this edition. So, in many situations it is impossible to perform all the to the power k factorial experiment under homogeneous condition. Other situations where uh, the experimenter deliberately vary the experimental conditions, so that they can ensure the use of this product or the item produced effectively under different uh, situations. Uh, this is what is in the concept of robust design. So, when you have insufficient resources such as raw materials or the operators or when you deliberately uh, create different heterogeneous situations. So, under such cases the design technique which is effectively used is called blocking to handle such situations. For example, if there are n replicates into the power k factorial design, then each set of homogeneous conditions define a block and each replicate is run in one of the blocks. For example, you consider a 2 to the power 2 design. So, then the complete all the settings complete settings all the factorial runs require 4 experiment to be conducted 4 experimental runs. And suppose you want to replicate it 3 times 3 times replications. And suppose you do not have enough material to do 4 into 3 that is 12 experimental runs conduct this. In this case 
may be you take batches of raw material one batch with four experiment with the complete complete all the settings factorial settings will be covered second batch second replication third batch third replication like this so that is what we are it is said that if there are n replicates into the per k factorial experiment then each set of homogeneous conditions define a block and each replicate is run in one of the blocks the runs in each block would be made in random order it is obvious so let us see one example so let me read it so that you will get a feel of the experiment and and then the subsequent slides we will explain uh, how the confounding uh, blocking primarily and then confounding will be understood based with with, the, with these examples the first example is consider an investigation into the effect of the concentration of the reactant and amount of catalyst on the conversions in a chemical process so that means you have two factors a and b a is concentration and b is amount of catalyst amount of catalyst so you are interested to know the effect of these two on the conversion which is yield so y the response variable is yield the objective of the experiment was to determine if adjustment to either of these two factors would increase the yield so you we want to adjust either a or b or both in such a manner that that yield will increase to increase yield let the reactant concentration be factor a and let the two levels 15 and 25 percent so two levels are here 15 percent here 25 percent and for amount uh, catalyst uh, for catalyst amount with high level one pound and two level determining the use of two pounds of the catalyst and low level with one pound this this we have discussed earlier also two pound the experiment is replicated three times so n equal to 3 so you require 12 runs this is a general case and you have to up, up to the but to design and you have seen this example earlier we have explained and in fact we have done to the but two factorial design uh, uh, with this example we have explained everything so the this kind of result this this table also we have shown you earlier and the corresponding that a and b that in the graph geometric uh, representation also shown to you earlier so what is the difference here difference is suppose that only four experimental trials can be made from single batch of raw materials so the difference what we are finding out you have four settings one a b a b these are independent settings so you have the best size raw material best size in such a manner that you can conduct only four experimental runs so as a result what you require in order for full factorial design in one batch of raw materials you will get only uh, that experimental experiment to can be conducted so if as you require three replications at least you require three batches of raw material or it may so happen that uh, you may not be uh, or you will sacrifice some of the uh, factorial experiments uh, per batch so but here the procedure adopted is that let let take complete experiments 
that means for all the settings per batch. So, as four experimental runs can be conducted, every raw batches of raw material will be used to conduct these four experiments. That is what is given in this in this figure. You see block 1, 1 A B A B, block 2, 1 A A B A B and block 3, 1 A B A B. So, or all four treatment combinations, treatment combinations using three batches of raw materials, where batches of raw material is representing blocks. Okay. So, this is what is the what is blocking in experiment uh, to the bar k factorial design. So, you you require you require suppose, suppose capital N number of experimental runs, but you do not have sufficient resources. So, what you are doing you are using those uh, you are taking separate resources like batches of raw materials one batch followed by after second batch followed by third batch like this and what you are doing here each batch is representing a block as well as a repli as well as replicates. Okay. Now, what will happen you require to find out the block effect is there or not. Second thing is that within under such situation what is the effect of A, what is the effect of B and what is the effect of A B and how error is computed and, and then how you will test all those things. So, basically I want to tell you that you require to know develop the ANOVA table under this situation. So, you know how to compute effect A, how to compute effect B, how to compute effect A B. So, this is basically if you see that we, we say that contrast into 1 by 2 to the power k minus 1 into m. So, this is the general formula given to you. So, for every every effect you have to find out the contrast and then you know that what is here basically 2 to the power k minus 1 k is 2 to the power 2 minus 1 1 by 2 n. So, you require to you require to you know that what is the value of n also n will is the replication. Okay. And, and also you have seen earlier that how to find out the contrast. Contrast for A will be A B plus A minus B minus 1 that is contrast for A, contrast for B, A B plus B minus A minus 1 and contrast for A B accordingly you have to find out both means a b plus 1 minus a minus b and what are those a b 1 and all those things you know that you if you from this from this table you can find out that what is a here you see 1 is 80 a is 100 b is 60 a b is 90 so like this this you have already done. Okay. So, what you have not done here, you have not done that, what is the block effect? You see we have how many blocks? 3 blocks. So, you create block total B 1, B 2 and B 3. What is the you know, block total for first block? That is 1, uh, 28 plus 36 plus 18 plus this 103, 13. For block 2 it is 106, for block 3 it is 111 and then you are finding out SS blocks. SS blocks, so I equal to 1, 2, 3 because what will be the SS block or block effect if I want to know 
block effect then definitely this is contrast for block mm, into the that one that multiplier in terms of mean okay but here uh, or other way we can use this formula that i equal to 1 to how many blocks 3 blocks then in each block total you have found out b i okay let it be b i total b i square and then divide by 4 minus y triple dot square by 12 okay so b1 is what is b1 here b1 is 113 b2 is 106 and b3 is 111 so you will get block block a bit but this is this is not this is basically block contribution block effect fine now i am talking about ss block talking about ss block so, also you know that if you know the contrast you can find out the sum square, but here also you know that how to compute from the formula that is also known to you. So, here we are using the formula for SS block. So, let me repeat so that you will not get confused. So, the block effect and sum square block these are two different things sum square block is computed in this manner also using contrast we know that uh, that uh, if you want ss using contrast that is basically contrast square divided by 2 to the power k into n so this formula also can be used now we are using the original formula what we have seen earlier so using this you will find out the SS block is 6.50. Okay, 6.50. So now let us come to the ANOVA table. In the ANOVA table, when you have different blocks, so what are the sources of variation? Sources of variation will be obviously the factor and their interaction plus block here. And error is always there. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sources of variation and for every source what is the sum squares. So, a for a it is 208, for b it is 75, for a b 8.33 we have seen this thing in earlier uh, lectures that uh, without block although these three we have seen then the result is given here. So, without block this is what we have discussed earlier without block. Then what is the error quantity? Error quantity is 31.34. You see the error here 31.34. Now, without block error, without block. And with blocking. So, if you see A without SSA without block it is 208.33 it is without block and with block also 208.33 for SSB also it is 75 it is 75 for SSAB this is 8.33 this is 8.33. There is no difference. What about error here? Here error is 24.84, but here error is 31.34. So, the difference lies if you compare difference is in error. So, what is the difference in error between with blocking and without blocking? That is 31.34 minus 24.84 which is basically 6.50 what is it this is the effect of ss of block what we have seen earlier so as a result here block is there so the block ss block ss block which is 
6.54. Now, the value is significantly low, I do not think this is a very high value and it can be proven also through F test this is so. So, that means there is no block effect means batches of raw material are not significantly differing. So, that is the key finding here is the block effect is relatively small. But the sole purpose here you to say that with, the, with this example we, we, have try, we have tried to show you that how blocking is done into the power k factorial design. Now, come to the second concept called confounding. Let me read out in many problems it is impossible to perform a complete replicate of a factorial design in one block. Okay. So, when I explain confounding with 2 to the power 2 factorial design, I said that you have batches of raw material and every batch can every batch is sufficient enough to conduct 4 experiment 2 to the power 2 equal to 4 experiment 4 runs possible here. Suppose your batch size is not sufficient to 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 accommodate four experimental runs or to be used for four experimental runs so i mean what will happen you, you cannot uh, you cannot get a block which will be able to accommodate all the treatment combinations so all treatment combination cannot be run treatment combination cannot be run within a single block. Please remember two things, first of all you have treatment combinations and you require to conduct experiment in all treatment combinations and also you want replications, so precisely estimate the error. So, now you have resource constraint in the first case last example what we have seen that you have batches of raw material which can accommodate all treatment combinations. Then there what we have done is we consider blocks separate batch as separate batches of raw material every batch is a block. The advantage there was that at least you can accommodate or you can run the experiment for all the possible treatment combinations. Here the situation is it is not only uh, limited to block, but it also limited to the situation another situation that within a block all the treatment combination can be run because the size is the resource is not sufficient enough to conduct such so many runs. For example, within 2 to the power 2 design 4 runs, 2 to the power 3 design 8 runs it is not possible. So, then what happen confounding takes place and the technique what is used to overcome this situation is also known as confounding. So, confounding is a design technique for arranging a complete factorial experiments in block where the block size is smaller than the number of treatment combination in one replicate. So, even if you cannot go for all possible treatment combination per block, but because of confounding you can conduct this. And this is a technique because of confounding in the sense using confounding technique you can do it you can even do the experiments. The technique causes information about certain treatment effects to be indistinguishable from or confounded with blocks. So, very interesting you have in the in this example how many effects two main effects and one interaction effects. In order to estimate all the effects you require to conduct experiment all treatment combinations. 
Now, what is happening here? Your raw material batch is not sufficient enough. In this case, you cannot conduct all four experiment per raw per batch of raw materials. So, what you you are doing then? You are basically confounding your uh, if you go for estimating the all the effects, you will find out when you use several blocks, use several blocks, what will happen here? Uh, the some of the effects cannot be estimated uniquely; they will be confounded with the blocks. Okay, so some of the effects will be indistinguishable from the blocks. There they will be they are confounded, and that is what is known as confounding. And this design technique is incomplete block design because each block doesn't contain all the treatment or treatment combinations. In general, to the power k factorial design can be considered into the power p incomplete blocks, where p is obviously less than k. Consequently, these designs can be run in two blocks when p equal to one, four blocks p equal to two, and eight blocks p equal to three, and so on. So <coughs> now, now key issue is that if in case of compounding, you are not able to estimate uniquely some of the some of the effects. So which effect you will be confounding with? with the blocks the guideline is that higher order interactions in this case obviously ab if it is to the power 3 design obviously abc if it is to the power 4 design obviously abcd sometimes it may so happen that only uh, you require to sacrifice not only one parameter interaction parameter, you may require to sacrifice more interaction parameters. That means more parameters will be confounded with uh, with with the blocks. In that case, you will be you will be having uh, you have to sacrifice more effects not to be precisely estimated or to be confounded with blocks. Here is the same example to the power 2 design case. What we said that you cannot run four treatment combinations, late you will run, uh, you have, you can run two treatment combinations. So, you require two blocks, block 1 and block 2. So, in uh, here in this example, you see that we have we have dotted line uh, dots that is blacks and uh, white dots these two. So, these two that is 1 and a b is run in block 1 and a and b is run in block 2. So, assignment of the 4 runs in 2 blocks this is the what you require to do here. You, you require to understand which are the ex treatment combination will go to block 1 and which are the tre other treatment combination that will go to block 2. If it is batch 2 batches of raw material then batch 1 will be used for 1 and a b treatment combination and block 2 will be used for a and b treatment combination or other way. Okay. So, we have two things. Suppose I want to estimate the main effects. You all know that that is the average response when when the factor is at high level minus the average response factor is at low level. If this is the case and this is the then and in this particular case that A equal to 1 by 2 A B plus A minus B minus 1. B will be like this and C will be A B will be like this. This is known to you. Now come to this side, you see that what is the block condition here. So we have four treatment combination. 
a b and a b and if you see the contrast that is plus minus sign see that a b and block that a b plus 1 block 1 is assigned to a b and combination and block uh, 1 to assign sorry black 1 is assigned to a b as well as block assigned to 1 that is 1 1 and a b. So, now if I if you try to find out the average uh, difference when a b at plus and a b at minus this is nothing but basically that a, a, the difference when uh, experiment is done using block 1 and block 2. So, that means this difference and this difference are same and as a result what happened a b is confounded with block. So, you cannot separate them out and that is what is seen here also. So, as a result the few important notes one is both a and b are unaffected by blocking because in each estimate there is 1 plus and 1 minus treatment combination from each block. See suppose you want to estimate effect of a. So, it is minus block 1 and plus block 1 means in each block minus plus is there low and high is there. So, as a, as a result the, the effect is nullified. Similarly, for B, but for A B it is not like this both high level or, or the both the um, factors at the high, same level that is with block 1 and both the another lab, uh, and, and another one with block 2. So, the difference is not there that then two treatment combination with the plus sign and uh, that is A B and plus 1 and 1 are in block 1 and 2 with the minus sign the block effect and the a b interactions are identical here that is a b is confounded with block. So, I hope that you understand the concept of block uh, confounding you understand the concept of blocking you have understood the concept of confounding. Now, finish this um, this lecture just by uh, discussing that using defining contrast how can uh, the blocks will be constructed ok. So, you all know that the contrast is the linear combination of the level of factors. So, this is what is written like this L equal to alpha 1 x 1 plus alpha 2 x 2 plus alpha k x k. So, what we are doing here? the contrast you are writing alpha 1 x 1 plus alpha 2 x 2 alpha k x k. So, if I say what is x i this is the label of the ith factor and alpha i is the exponent of the ith factor to be exponent of the ith factor to be confounded. Hmm. Suppose and it will take value 0 or 1, it will take value 0 or 1, ok. So, I will be 0 or 1 and x i is 0, ok. So, 0 for low level when x i at low and x i and ok and x i will be that we know either 0 or 1 ok. So, now come back to the slide again uh, in fact we are in this seeing the slide only. So, if 2 to the power 3 design case these are the treatment combination and you know that what is this these are the these are the, these are the basically plus minus sign and which will help you in defining the contrast fine. Now, how do you assign blocks suppose you, re as you require to assign two blocks. So, for as I told you that using linear combination of factors it can be done ok. So, first you determine that which effect to be compounded with the blocks. So, you 
uh, your guideline is the highest order interaction if you uh, okay so highest order interaction in this case is abc fine so then as uh, uh, considered to the birth design then l will be alpha 1 x 1 alpha 2 x 2 plus alpha 3 x 3 so effect to be confounded effect to be confounded equal to a b c so here all a b c in this case all the three treatment combinations are present other way other way i can say not all three treatment combinations so all the three factors are present in this interaction three factors interactions are present so as a result alpha 1 equal to 1 alpha 2 equal to 1 and alpha 3 equal to 1 suppose if you think that no the effect to be confounded is ab in this case then alpha 1 will be 1 alpha 2 will be 1 but alpha 3 will be 0 that is what i said exponent of this this will take 0 or 1 value so what you require to do now you require to find out a interesting concept called suppose that l mo l mod mod mm, 2 this one l mod 2 this concept for example or other way i can say that you uh, you just first find out l l is alpha 1 x 1 plus alpha 2 x 2 plus alpha 3 x 3 in this case as to be as the effect to be confounded is a b c alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 is 1 so this is x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 only okay suppose you 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 now consider the treatment combination first treatment combination is 1 in this case what is the x, x 1 value x 1 value so i want l for 1 then in this case x 1 value is 0 x 2 value is 0 x 3 value is 0 okay so then this will be 0 because alpha 1 1 alpha 2 1 and alpha 3 1 so 1 g into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0 this is 0 so this can be written as 0 mod 2 okay it is something like this this minus this by uh, 2 so anything divided by 2 what will be the remainder remainder will be either 0 or 1 so now similarly you find out that second one l at a so what will happen this will become x1 become 1 plus 0 plus 0 this is 1 so this can be written as 1 mod 2 similarly l of b this will be 0 plus 1 plus 0 that is 1 so 1 mod 2 suppose l at a b we can write that l at a when a and both a and b are what we write x1 okay so oh, okay there are many more treatment combination not only this so those so that mean so 1 plus 1 plus 0 so this is 2 2 will be 0 mod 2 so in this manner you have to find out you see what we have given here i have written b b is 1 mod 2 a b 1 plus 1 plus 0 2 2 0 mod 2 c will be 1 mod 2 a c 0 mod 2 b c 0 mod 2 a b c 1 mod 2 so ultimately you are creating getting something like this l mod 2 and in this case obviously this this value this value will become either 0 or 1 because it will be divided by 2 only the remainder will be either 0 or 1 so then you, you you require to 
assign the two blocks. So, wherever you are getting 1, you assign to them in one block and 0 to another block. Okay. Now, in this example, you see that block 1 contains 1, A, B, A, C and B, C. So, that means block 1, all the 0 cases are assigned to block 1 and 1 cases are assigned to block 2. So, this is what is your assigning the blocks to the different X treatment combination for experiments. So, treatment are assigned into different blocks using refining contrast. Okay. So, we, we will start again with contrast, but for the time being, uh, for the time being let me tell you that you, you have to you have to know that which effect to be confounded and accordingly you find out L, L is alpha 1 x 1, alpha 2 x 2 like this and then you know there are two things, one is alpha i it will take 0 or 1 value as well as x i will take 0 or 1 value. Depending on which treatment combination you are interested in and accordingly that and also the effect to be confounded, you will get two things alpha values as well as x i values put here find out the value of L and that value you write in these terms that L mod or in this term L mod 2 in this term you write. So, as the things will be divided the integers is divided by 2 the remainder will be always 0 or 1. So, you, you assign to 2 blocks. So, all the 0 treatment combinations will be assigned to 1 block and another 1 treatment combinations will be assigned to another blocks. Okay. So, thank you very much. We will continue it in the next class.